Sharks. My name is Mike Sewell. I'm from Springfield, Missouri, and I'm here today on behalf of my two business partners. We are seeking $300,000 for 3% stake oh. in our company, Step It Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Tired of grabbing Jeremy door handles? Well, we've got the solution that will let you step right past them. Sharks, I'm sure you've been in a public restroom washing your hands when the person next to you Sorry, has is that you? questionable <laughs> yeah. hygiene habits. Take a look at this guy. Oh, Kevin. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if he washes his hands after uh, all of that. Oh. Disgusting. Nasty. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, watch this. All right. <laughs> now, now I've seen this before at my local Home Depot, Best Buy, uh, and some other stores. They have these the, the the foot thing. I've also seen the arm thing, but the the foot thing. I I like the foot thing better. I feel like I'm still getting some germs. You know, you're coughing into your arm and then putting it on the on the thing. I don't know. I, have I haven't seen the arm thing, so I don't even know. I can't even visualize yes, that. But it's cool. So you'll worry no more. I know. Step and pull is a small device that mounts on the bottom of a commercial latchless door. It offers the option of pulling the door open with your foot. Ah, that's a nice that look on the handle. heel. That's because that works we all there. Know those handle bacteria battlegrounds are a common touch point for all of us. The they step are. and pull is a great option on any latchless door where hands-free operation is beneficial. You can install it in office buildings, restaurant patio doors, or clean room environments for healthcare professionals. Although germs have been a big concern for many years, the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered hyper awareness around this topic. Ding well, ding. Sharks, <laughs> which of you? Is Some ready of it's to ridiculous. This is crazy. And take a step into our world. Clean room environments, for one, have automated doors. I used to work in a clean room that was 100 times cleaner than an operating room. I worked in a class 10 and a class 1. You don't touch the doors when you're going into a clean room, so that's kind of a moot point there. Well, yeah, I, look, and that's 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 well point taken, right? But this is for not clean rooms. This is for the everyday thing, and if the price is right, I think it, it could be a great thing. Like I said, I've already seen this, so they obviously have competitors out there. I because theirs has like teeth, and the ones I've used do not have teeth. So, and I've seen them sold. I think they sell them at Home Depot. So, pretty clever Great innovation. Is there not other products that do the exact same thing? There are products that are similar. Yes, we do have that patented though. What's, What's different about your product? The teeth. Mm. About yes, it mm. has teeth. It has just okay. the design. You strap down, up, pull the door open. It's a low cost to manufacture because of the design so tell us i don't know business. that the teeth is enough of a differentiator there to like really make a difference because the other ones just are kind of like swooped like cupped so you could just yeah. get your foot in like i don't i don't know that the teeth are going to make a difference so on the because i've never seen this product in any way shape fashion or form do you put your foot in on the one that's swooped do you put it in and lift up and then pull out or are you still stepping down and pulling no you're out? just you're just stepping into it. like you either you could kind of like set side step into it um or you could just like kind of put your foot on top and kind of drag it back hmm. okay yeah i don't know that the teeth is going to make a make a difference there I like I like the Shark Tank logo on it though. Now I pull the door open. <laughs> it's a low cost to manufacture because of the design. So tell us about your business. Yeah, so this is our 13th year in business. Oh, and my two partners they had full time jobs and it was a sideline business. And the first five years were fairly flat with sales. We maybe sold thirty five thousand dollars. And in this year, Ugh. we've got, had a nice bump in sales. I would imagine. Uh, and we sold more in March than we sold the whole time. What did you in sell business. in March? About a million. What? Seven, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Right now is we're approaching $7 million in sales. You what? Wow. $7 million. Because I was going to say, they they're like, it seemed like they don't really, you know, uh, you, okay, you sold 35000 a year. No, not really seeing the, the business. My question is, is will this continue to head in that direction? Nine ninety five. Our U.S. Wow. cost to manufacture is... Between eight and nine dollars. Uh -huh. Although okay. we just gosh. worked with one of our manufacturers in Southwest Missouri and got the price down to under yeah, seven. Yeah, because he's thrilled to death too, right? Because oh, he's yeah. crushing yeah. it. Well, that was one of the best things about it was the people we employed during all this. So, was, so yeah. what percentage of your business is online versus wholesale? But about twenty-five percent distributors and seventy-five percent direct. Damn. Yeah, seventy-five percent. Wow. Yeah, our website <laughs> sales are the highest <laughs> sales channel at about over thirty, probably thirty-five percent of our sales. Mike, I mean, Good I always talk about job, the American Mike. dream. You're living the inventor's dream. You know, the most valuable asset we can never own is our time. And 
you have an opportunity here to make a choice. Take an investment and hope you can just take this back up to millions of dollars a month. Or you can grow it the way you always have and it's worked for you. Yeah. And enjoy your time. Not every business has to grow to maximize sales. Because again, the one asset that's more valuable than any dollar you will ever earn time. is your time. Yep. And your ability to enjoy that time. So I'm out, but I'm telling you, you don't need an offer. Yeah, I don't think he needs an offer either. I mean, obviously, they're killing it. They're selling 75% direct, and their cost is $7. They're selling them for 30 and then that might even... I don't know if that includes free shipping. So if it ain't including free shipping, then you're you're sitting pretty there uh, with a whole lot of money. I don't, I'm don't. i not sure what he's really looking for. I'm not either, other than the fact that I think he's putting a lot of confidence in his business overall as compared to, as Mark pointed out, his invention. His invention is a timely invention, and it makes sense in today's environment. But does that mean it's a long-term play for his business? More than likely not. No, probably maybe not i don't know but i i just i don't know unless he needs the capital for something i i don't know i mean i i think i think the big thing here is is that he was able to get inventory through the pandemic and make money right like yeah. a lot of people they ran out of inventory like and these guys if they're only selling thirty thousand a year and all of a sudden the pandemic comes along it's like oh where's the warehouse full of these things you know like i am they, they got really really lucky that they were able to to produce it uh, and then even get the cost down through all that. That's I mean that's yeah. not unsurprising, but ding ding to them for for having uh, already having the business and, and the thought process uh, and getting getting it done because they could have just been like, oh no, factories are closed. I can't get people to work there. Blah 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 blah. Like excuses, excuses, excuses. Can you and, imagine and they how it. they had to how they had to upscale production to to meet seven million dollars in sales? Yeah, I mean that is insane. And how they met those production schedules is, is uh, really how many. How many units yeah, is that? Seven hundred thousand units. It's a ton. Yeah. yeah. I mean, fortunately for them, it's a simple product. It's me it's bent metal, right? It's it's yeah, not. The it's teeth not probably like, take some. Yeah, I mean, they got to machine all that, but uh, you know, it's it's still it's still just a piece of metal. It's not like, hey, we're putting together iPhones and like we're gonna crank <laughs> we gotta crank them out right. before the pandemic. Right. They have their iPhones. Right. All right, Thank Mike, you. you're killing it. I think you'll continue but more at the $300,000 level. I think you hit a peak. I don't want buy-in at the peak. For that reason, I'm out. I don't know how to value oh, this because at the peak COVID. I think I can add a lot of value maybe in cutting customer acquisition costs. I don't know. I'm going to do the 300000 for 10%. Wow, have, that's reasonable okay. coming from him. Yeah. Have you ever gone to IDA? It's aware. That is reasonable. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, <laughs> International Door Association. So there's an International uh, Door there's Association. There's something for everything. Not. So I think that I can take it there, but I also have a, a fully automated factory uh, in New York that I'm a partner in. So I can reduce your cost probably, and I can also increase your sales. Kevin wants 10, he brings nothing to it. I'm gonna do I don't it for agree 12. with that. There's a thousand for 12%. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I see you have like a commercial end, and I see there's a consumer end to this mm -hmm. because Why would people um, put this in their homes, Lori. No, I think people will put this a lot of places. I want to make you an offer. Um, Where? And my plan would uh, that's a good. I mean, look, I, anywhere that's high traffic, I could see putting it on apartment built apartment doors. I, I don't know how you like, still have a door knob and you have a deadbolt. I don't uh, from a from a residential perspective. I don't know how you would apply it other than potentially uh, the sliding type closet doors. You know, if you don't have a walk-in type closet and you've got the the nice little, I don't know what you call those, accordion doors or sliding doors, uh, I can see maybe where it would come in handy there. Because there's been times I've wanted to get in the closet and I couldn't because my hands were full. And that's a, you know, that's a bit of a struggle. Maybe you could put it there. I don't know where else you'd put it in a residential scenario. Hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, the front door to your New York apartment building, like, and that's, you know, but I, I don't know. I. Some people, well, you know what? No, that's not true because if you had like an electronic lock for your door, right? Oh, okay. And okay. you and you walk, I walk up to my door and my phone unlocks my door. Um, and then I can just open the door. But I, I, that, that, there's still like a hand. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Would be to do an infomercial with this. I would do $300,000 for 5% equity. I would want um, 50 cents back a unit. And then once I've hit 500,000, then the royalty will drop to 20 cents per. I think that's a garbage offer. Yeah. But I can help you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> David, trying David to how do you really feel? How does David really feel? That's what I want to know. I mean, I'm just curious. Uh, I think that 20% in perpetuity makes it really tough to take that offer. And, and yeah. uh, hopefully Michael understands that because that uh, I, I just I don't know. I mean, look, she's only taking 5%, but taking 20 cents is a lot, especially if you don't sell it at 29.95 like when it gets commoditized down to like 19.95 or 9.95 or yeah. 14.95 you know it's going to be a tough it's going to be tough to keep that 20 cents uh baked in there this up and get this into every retailer get it on we television get we it digital do well, I, don't Lori, I appreciate the offer I, I struggle with the infomercial because um, it isn't a consumer product. It is a, no, but it to get that be ROI. A consumer product. Never a, a consumer. Commercial. Mm. I, I don't know. That no, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think businesses will buy. Yes. People in a home will not. And no, no, I totally get that. But what I'm saying to you is, is if we do it effectively, right? Not so a consumer product. I think Lori, that Lori, is what happens over? is when Mike, when Mike, you Mike, run, Mike, Mike, you let me just finish. I want. I mean, you're I want to alter. You're saying the same thing. Lori, we got your infomercial. Your infomercial. I'm just gonna keep going just to make him crazy. Oh my gosh. When you do that, there's tons of people out there that good. Good on you, Lori. Don't 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 back down. You. She really wants it. She wants it. But she's got nothing here. I mean, I love Lori. She's probably my favorite go-to for most of these types of products it just does not have a residential application it just doesn't yeah i don't i don't have a fear of touching my own ha handles and stuff in my own house for the most part unless oh, somebody else has been in <laughs> the, the house most part. <laughs> well if somebody else comes through the house you know we'll wipe down the knobs or whatever but maybe you could put part, one on the sucks. shower stall door if you have a sliding shower stall door, a lot of those slide. So you could put one on there and slide. It. I don't know. That's but all like, I can think but of. But what do I? What do I have in my hands that I'm not? You know that yeah, I'm. That I we're can't not going to go there. Do don't ask that question. This is YouTube, brother. That aren't going to be in that distribution channel that you are already in. I think I've heard enough. So I'm going to give you three hundred thousand for eight percent. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Down. There you go. Get it. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Damon, can you do six percent? Oh, come on, bro! Come on, me. Michael! Come on, man! Like that's uh, can you do six percent? Look, I get it. He's trying to he's trying to hit that. Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even do calculate it, but I mean that's a uh, I don't know. What's what's the valuation there? Uh, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Well, if it was three hundred thousand for one percent, it would be thirty million. Right? right. Yeah. Right. So. So it's not too far off from that. <laughs> Stick to your guns, Mike. Stick and to your guns, I'll help Mike. clear the air. I'm going to go out. Oh. Yeah, she thought about that. She's like, you know what? That was really stupid of me. Mike down to two offers. Yeah. Well, she didn't get, she could have given a better offer, but she doesn't want to go even she's further for the down. Ah, she, come she's, on. she's off. She's licking her wounds in the corner of the room. Oh, oh I messed up. Oh. <laughs> Stick to your guns, Mike. I mean, if I was if I was in his shoes, I, I probably would would go with uh, with Damon. I mean, Kevin hasn't said anything. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped out at this point. Yeah, it looks like he's seven percent. Seven percent. Seven percent. He's gonna say no. Oh, Kevin. oh snap! Damn, I know what the value I bring. I'll, I'll do it at eight. You got a, you got a lot of margin there. I can bring down those prices. Beyond the manufacturing help. Damon going to that IEB. What are you saying? He's beyond the manufacturing help. That might offend uh, Damon here. He's looking a little, little offended there. You bought a tracer you didn't even know about. Right. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put more pressure on if you want. I'll do it at six. Oh, snap. Kevin's got a deal. Now Take a deal. Kevin. No, no, I'm just, look, you, you're walk not going to get what you want because I'm going to keep squeezing. away. Come on, hard. come on. Mike Damon's 300,000. How could you not take Kevin at that Kevin's point? He's He's cutting your, your valuation in half, but, but it's not likely that you're going to get it. Kevin, let's do it. Oh, you know he didn't oh, like that decision either. Man. He like, wasn't happy about it either. All right. Let's take a look at their website here. Congratulations to, to Kevin for winning mm. a mm -mm -mm. Uh, deal here. So this is the, the Step and Pool website. Uh, looks looks really good. I like how they, they got all the different colors. They're still $29.95. I mean, that's a that's a healthy profit margin. A few customers who choose wow. Step and Pool. Uh, Best Buy. I've seen it in Best Buy. I don't know if I've seen the one with the teeth, though. Maybe, maybe I have. I don't see Home Depot here, though. Post Office uh, and NASA. They got everybody. Yeah, they're they definitely Best Buy. I know I've seen it in Best Buy 
in the bathroom, but I, I don't know. Um, so I, you know, I, I think, I think it's great. Is there any, let's see, is there any reviews? There's a, their website seems like they got a lot of things for a piece they of metal. Do. They got a lot of things going on there Man. on their website. Uh, you can buy bulk pricing up to a hundred plus for twenty three ninety six for a piece of metal. Awesome. So I, I you know, I, I think it's, oh, you get the sticker too. use your foot. Nice. Uh, nice. The sticker makes all the difference in the world. That really ups the price. Yeah, well, you know, it helps the profit margin for sure. Uh, eight reviews is a positive. Uh, so yeah, and they also are selling it on Amazon as well uh, for twenty nine ninety five. So as you know, you can get it there, and it's got one hundred nineteen reviews. So yeah, good good on them. Uh, open open trash cabinet without getting chicken goop on it. There you go. There's a there's a thing. Open the the, the cabinet. Open the door. Uh, the chicken goop. That's a problem. Let's see. Instructions say start with a quarter inch drill bit. That hole was too big for the screws, so I can't install it. Uh, so now I can't install it. And I was <laughs> a drill. <laughs> I was left with a drilled aluminum door. Great. Uh, this package that I received did not come with any hardware screws. One star made out of aluminum angle iron instead. Uh, and the ad says hands free, avoid germs, reduce paper towel costs. I don't know about you, but I keep my home clean, so I don't worry about germs on my door. Spending 30 simply said, if you have doorknobs in your house, like I do, these are totally useless. As a matter of fact, I don't have any doors in my house where I would, use, would this would work. I, and I bet most everybody else doesn't either. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, Mr. Grumpy, uh, you got the grumpy face there on your for your profile yeah. pick. Uh, profile uh, pick checks out, that's for sure. Yeah. Steve, you, you played yourself, brother, and then you wrote a review to brag about how you played yourself. I bet I you mean, he's uh, the one that found it helpful. <laughs> I'm just just throwing it out there, <laughs> throwing it out there. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what I'm also throwing out there is if you could smash the like button. Oh, it's, it's a little delayed. Uh, it's a little, it's a little broken today. If you can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video in the hands of more super entrepreneurs like yourself. Uh, if you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel so you can get more biz coach reacts videos as well as business reviews, which I'll be doing very soon here on the channel, as well as shark tank interviews that are coming down the pike. So make sure you get subscribed, click that little thing and hit, maybe hit the bell icon. So you never miss another, uh, super Joe Pardo show, whatever this thing is called for Larry Roberts. I'm super Joe Pardo. Take care. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.